Hey guys, Caleb here. One of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about today was all of the number of sidebar apps and Pi Control and LMT and Paranoid Android Spy. There are just tons and tons of things being built on top of you know the launchers nowadays. My favorite uh, that I've been testing out is the LMT launcher. So I wanted to talk to you about that and kind of showcase it. So for those who are not aware, LMT is when you press the side of the screen, you get this nice little pie. On that pie, you know, I can switch all these different toggles everybody's familiar with, you know, home, recent, blah, blah, blah. You know, I can toggle my Wi-Fi, my Bluetooth, my GPS, etc. And if I long press, I can switch it to open up certain key apps that I want. So, in a nutshell, that's what LMT is, but there's more to it than that. You can enable gestures. So, you know, two finger swipe, you know, I can pull up my keyboard, or uh, you know, if I do two fingers, I can get my Google Now, bring up that. Um, let's see. Um, there's others that you can build in. You know, I've got a square to pull up my LMT settings. So, that's part of it. Now, to get LMT first though, you're going to need to go to XDA. And if you just put in uh, LMT launcher in Google, you're going to find this XDA thread and it is a doozy. The developer has got just tons and tons of information, but you'll just need to go download the APK. Looks like the latest one showing up right now is 1.91, and that's the version that's been out there for a while now. So, once you've got it downloaded and installed, you'll just need to open up the, the app. When you open it, this is what you'll be facing. Basically, you're just going to need to enable it. Uh, I have it to where it auto starts when I reboot my phone. Uh, the service mode, I've got it to where it does gestures and pie and the gesture input that is a funny one to me I have a Galaxy S3 it's not listed here so as you can see I've got the touchpad listed it appears to work uh, the developer uh, has uh, on that XDA thread a, a good bit of information about that and a lot of people post hey I've got this device which one should I use for an S3 uh, the touchpad appears to be working fine for me now there's some other stuff in here I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the app itself has got tons and tons that you can choose from but the uh, feedback style for gestures I liked having the image overlay but if you just prefer the you know the, the feedback you can do it that way um, I'm going to skip over that for now the pie control, this is where you determine the size, the colors, you know, everything about that, you know, where, you know, you want it on the top, the bottom, the middle, the left, the right, where on the screen do you want it to touch to pop up that menu. And let's see, there's some other stuff in here that jumps out, but uh, it's pretty intuitive, honestly. Now for the gestures. You saw me do the square, and that's where I sold, told it I wanted to open up LMT. Um, you saw me do, let's see, the the double question marks for Google Now. Pretty intuitive. Now, the invisible swipe areas, that's um, sort of like gestures, but it's one finger. And so, you know, down here, invisible swipe area at the right bottom. So basically, if I swipe to the bottom down here on the right, I could tell it I wanted to open a certain app or do a certain thing. The last tab is for the Pi, and that's where you're telling it what app or what shortcut you want. So Pi 1 is going to be there, Pi 2, Pi 3, Pi 4, etc. And you can see you can do long presses for them as well. So, And then there's a level 2. Level 2 is this one down here. So if you wanted just to have one, you could do it that way. And 
some people prefer having let's see I'll go to pie control and you can actually put your um, system status in there as well I don't really think I need to have that but it looks cool and it kind of great blacks out the rest so anyway tons of stuff that you can do and the main reason why I love it when you're holding your phone it's just your thumbs there naturally it's so much better than having to go down here and press that physical button or these you know menus down here um, once you get used to just not having to move your thumb <laughs> as stupid as that sounds it makes it so much easier um, that's a quick and dirty uh, review for LMT uh, if I had to give it on a, a grade of 1 to 10 you know for the function and what it can do I mean I'm gonna give it like an eight eight and a half for the user interface and some of the bugginess of it I'd probably say seven and a half so I mean I'd give it an eight the uh, app itself is tremendous it's helped me out so much but uh, it definitely has ways it can improve um, would love if you guys gave it a try if you've got feedback would love to hear it I know there's some other apps that do similar things and I've tried them but maybe there's something about those that I missed and I'd love to be corrected alright guys take care